Hey, what is up guys? It is Acebyte here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how you can rob trains in Red Dead without getting a bounty on top of your head. Well, obviously, we know that robbing trains in this game is one of the best methods out there if you want to earn some decent amount of money. But, it is on the riskier side. So what I'm trying to say is if you mess things up, there is a high chance for you to get yourself a bounty that's even more higher than what you're actually getting from the train. But, it's a lot of fun. And we all know that. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it the perfect way and not get yourself caught. So that being said, let's begin with today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Now the first thing that you need to do is head to a fence and buy yourself some dynamite. Now the reason behind it is you'll find some interesting safes inside the train where you can actually blow up using a dynamite. So if you do not have a dynamite, well I'm sorry, you cannot open the safes. Well keeping that aside, let me go on on top of my horse. And this is my favorite horse currently, oh the Brindle Thoroughbred. I don't care about the stats, but I love the coat. Okay, so the next thing that you need to do is go to a random train station and buy yourself a ticket to Annisburg. The reason behind it is because this trick only works if you take a ticket to Annisburg. Otherwise, uh, it's not going to work. The mask. Okay, then. Oh, there. Oops, you gotta watch your gun, Arthur. So, while we're here, let me tell you something about the train house that we're actually going to perform today. Now, the reason why I actually told you to go get yourself a here. ticket to Annisburg is simply because once the train leaves from Annisburg to the next station, the train has to go through a tunnel. So that's our opportunity. We're going to be robbing this train inside a tunnel. Why? It's because I'll be telling it to you later. So once the train arrives to Annisburg, you have to leave the train and go mount your horse. And while the train stops, let me tell you, if you enjoyed today's video and if you like it, go ahead and hit the like button. I mean, that's what the like button in YouTube is for. Okay, so I had some unfinished business to do in Annsburg, and when I came back, the train already left. Once the train passes by from you, just go ahead and tail it and jump onto the train. And also, make sure to equip your bandana before doing this, and also do it without any witnesses nearby. Okay, so there you go. I've successfully jumped onto the train. The next thing that you need to do from here is call your horse repeatedly. Well, the only reason I'm telling you to do this is because once you reach the tunnel, you need the horse for a getaway, otherwise it's gonna be difficult for you. And since you're here, just go ahead to the front carriage just by jumping and make sure not to fall down. And let me also show you where to go in the map. So right over here just on top of the R in Grizzlies, you have to put a waypoint and you have to stop the train once you reach there. Well, it's not gonna be simple because if someone sees you in here, they're actually gonna witness this and there'll be a crime uh, reported against you. But do not worry, the train is moving so fast that the reported area will be left far behind you. As you can see, I have now reached the front carriage of the train and I'm also calling my horse for every 5 seconds. Once you're about to reach the tunnel, go ahead and knock down the driver and take control of this huge train. Sooner or later, there will be guards shooting you from behind, but the good thing about this is they'll not be able to deal damage to you. Well, however, there are times like for example for every 10 or 20 seconds, though you, you get a shot, but don't worry, it's not gonna kill you in here. So as you can see right in front of me, there's the big ass tunnel. So all you have to do is just go right inside the tunnel. And you remember when I showed you the map with the waypoint? Yes, you gotta stop exactly at the waypoint. Well, if not exactly, try to stop just near there. And obviously, you don't want yourself coming out of the other side. So watch yourself. So once the waypoint is coming closer, then is the best time to stop the train. Once the train has been completely stopped, get out of here 
and equip a revolver and a lantern in your offhand and try shooting these people. Well, shooting them will obviously get into a crime, but the good thing about this tunnel is like I said, the cars will be able to come to you, but they'll not be able to come to you inside the tunnel. However, they'll come to you on top of the mountain. So no matter how much they try, they'll not be able to catch you. So that's the only reason why I told you to come here to do this amazing robbery. Well, obviously, you don't want to see my boring clip of robbing this train. You'll do it better, I know. You can either decide to, you know, rob the people out here, but I will actually rob the first person sitting, and then I'll just leave the train because my honor is pretty low, and I'm actually trying to make a honorable playthrough this time. You need to give me all your money. Help me. Okay, stop it. You can have the money. Now, don't ask me for the reason I did that. His face looks like he deserved it a lot more. Now our tiny little bit of a heist is not completed. Now to escape this hellhole, you need to head outside from where you came from. Now the reason why I'm telling you this, if you go to the other side, the cops will be waiting you for outside and there. So what you have to do here is go to the opening, and once you reach the opening, take a right, um, a hairpin turn, and then just head down and stop there. If you go straight through these tracks in here, the cops will be waiting for you. So just head down here just a little bit. Okay, so don't don't go over there, okay? So it's going to be a problem for you. And just go over here and wait for some time right here. And don't go downhill either because there'll be cops from there as well. Now, let me tell you, basically, the cops actually want to come to you one or the other way. But since you're in a hillside like this, they won't be able to reach you. If you're on the train tracks, though, they'll, it'll be a lot easier for them to track you down. And also, if you reach the downside, It'll be even more easier too. As you can see, our tiny little bit of an adventure is now completed without getting ourselves a bounty. Well, this is one of the best methods out there if you want to rob a train. However, I might as well tell you that there are a lot of methods out there as well. Well, this is one of my favorite, the tunnel one. I'll be posting the others soon enough. Well, that is it for today's video, my friends. If you like it, go ahead and hit the like button. Like I told you before, the use of the like button, of course. And if you want to see more of these content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, as that will help me a lot. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. My name is Ace Fight, and I'll see you later.